The buyer's journey is the process that a potential customer goes through from the initial awareness of a product or service to the final decision to make a purchase. It is often depicted as a series of stages that customers move through, and it helps businesses understand and address the needs of their audience at each step of the process, looking into potential blocker and pain. The typical stages of the buyer's journey are 1. Awareness stage, when the buyer realises they have a problem or a need. During this stage, they start to research and become aware of possible solutions. 2. Consideration stage, the buyer defines their problem or need more precisely, they research and evaluate different solutions or approaches, and their search online becomes more specific. Next, the decision stage. The buyer is ready to make a decision. During this stage, they compare specific products or services. They look at reviews. They watch videos where other people share their experiences, etc. The goal is to make the final purchasing choice. The buyer journey continues through these phases. You have all the information on the right side corner if you are using Nova, otherwise you can take a screenshot. Using this tool is important to help you identify your target audience and understand their pain points, challenges and needs at each stage of the buyer's journey, but ultimately should help you develop content that addresses the questions and concerns of your audience at each stage. This could include blog posts, ebooks, webinars, and other educational materials that answer all the questions they have and help them make decisions. Additionally, should help you tailor your marketing efforts to align with the buyer's journey. For example, use social media SEO and online advertising to increase awareness. And finally, should help you implement lead nurturing campaigns to guide potential customers through the different stages of the buyer's journey. This involves staying engaged with leads, providing valuable content, and addressing their specific needs. By aligning your marketing and sales efforts with the buyer's journey, you can create a more customer-centric approach, improve the overall customer experience, and increase the likelihood of converting leads into customers. To use this tool, begin by analyzing the current situation. Start by defining how many users that go to your website, for example, end up creating a free account, and how many of those users check the pricing page, etc. Here you are trying to evaluate where you lose most of your customers, where they struggle most to make decisions. Try to have a discussion with the team about it. Then evaluate the process. Think about what they want to achieve, what they are looking for how they feel during that stage, and what actions they tend to take in each stage. Finalize the discussion by evaluating which activities could help them make the decision to purchase your product and how to best ensure they find the information they need and trust your solution. Sometimes to better support your process, you have to do some research and find information on blogs, product reviews, and so on, to really understand what people are saying and what they see online. Also, evaluate what your competitors are doing, how their pricing page looks like, what they say they offer, what seems different, is there something you are not communicating clearly? Once the conversation is over and you have chosen the next activities you want to prioritize and test, in other words, define a 90-day action plan to test some of those initial ideas and track if any of the initial results improve over time.